I, I want to say spoiler alert, but the reality is, like, nobody really knows at the end of the last season of, of Stranger Things, and obviously you're a beloved character, it's actually not quite clear if you're dead or not, right? So I imagine if you know, you can't tell us. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Do you, but do you know? Okay. I knew this would come up. This is the great thing about doing a late night talk show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, okay, well, here's the thing. I always knew that Hopper um, had to make a sacrifice. Sure. Like, he's a jerk, and, like, he also needs to, he needs to pay for that in some way. So he, he needs to do, so, 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 but, you know, I thought he would make the sacrifice, and, and then the script came out, and spoiler alert, like, if you're, you know, if you don't yeah. want to know about this stuff, uh, I guess turn down the... Yeah, the, but also, like, try to keep up with culture as it happens. <laughs> Good advice. Yeah. That's solid advice. I mean, there's just very few things we all watch, and it would be nice if you joined us. <laughs> um, but anyway, at the end, uh, you know, the post credit scene, there's this thing where it's the American, you know? And I was like, oh, clearly I'm the American. Um, and then I haven't gotten many phone calls. I, uh... Because the Duffer brothers, they obviously know. Yeah, I mean, I think they're actually the only people that do know. Gotcha, but they, like, have not, to they haven't hinted to you at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> so you're sort of, as an actor, you're kind of in flux, is what you're saying. I mean, at this point, I am. Yeah. Are you going to call him? You want to call him? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, so I really like... Let's, let's show off the world that you got a loose one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do one better. Let's FaceTime him. Okay, great. This is the Duffer Brothers, uh, the creators of Stranger Things. It's ringing. Okay. Can we, we'll bring over one. Are they going to, so like, can... are they going to pick up the... F hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, you're on the Seth Meyers show. B big fan. What do you mean? Like, are you shooting it right now? Yeah, we're shooting the show right now. What's Why up? Why are you calling us? <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. What's yeah. up, Ross? Yeah, turn it, turn it over am there. I, so uh, I'll let you guys answer to the camera, but uh, the question is, uh, am, I, am I dead? Is Hopper dead? <laughs> <laughs> would uh would this sweeten the pot? <laughs> uh you guys are a ton of help. Thanks. <laughs> really wonderful work. Good luck with season four. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Uh very nice. Very nice gentlemen. Awful. Awful. Uh, did you uh, did you hit it off with them when you first met? Yeah, I mean, I love those guys. They're like, I say, I say this all the time, and they hate it. That's why I continue to say it. But they're like uh, the biggest nerds I've ever met, besides yeah. me. I mean, I'm kind of a nerdy guy, too. But they're just like little geeky Dungeons & Dragons <laughs> video game type guys. And so we hit it off like gangbusters, yeah. And it was not originally called Stranger Things when you got involved with the project. No, that was the first sort of rift between us, actually, because I love the script so much. I mean, I love this show. I'm the it's biggest a fantastic fan of the show. show. It's a fantastic show. And it's very I don't say that about I love the show. So yeah. the script is amazing, but originally it was it was called uh, Montauk. Uh-huh. And I thought that was such a good title, like really strong and simple and like one word. And it was set in Montauk. And then they changed it to be set in the Midwest and they so I needed to change the title and they they were like um, they called me and they were like uh, we're gonna call it Stranger Things. And I was like, that's the worst title I've ever heard. <laughs> it sounds like some stupid guy going like, oh, I've heard Stranger Things. <laughs> like, I mean, it sounds like a terrible idea for a sh television show. Yeah, yeah. And so I hated it. And then, uh, and then I saw it in the font. Yes. With the, like, music. The da 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 and yeah. it's... And it, was, and it was awesome again. And then you realized, uh, uh, are you willing to admit now it's 100 times better than Montauk? <laughs> 
No. Like, I will tell no. you, yeah. <laughs> uh, we were originally going to call this show Amagansett. <laughs> But then the network was like, what about yeah. Late Night with Seth Meyers? And I was like, all right. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> what's it like? I mean, uh, I, you know, they've grown up, obviously, to some degree since you yeah. first started working with yeah, them. Yeah. But uh, what's it like working with those, you know, uh, super talented cast of kids you have on the show? Uh, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Um, no, they're, I mean, look, they're beautiful kids. But I, I mean, you, you, they're, no, but like what adult male <laughs> wakes up in the morning... Like, I'm in my 40s and goes like, you know what I want to do today? I want to hang out with, like, six 15-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. And I want to see, like, what they're like and, like, what they talk about and, like, what they're interested in. And I want to get involved in conversations that they're having about learning about themselves as 15-year-olds do. I have been in some conversations where, in the, well, between them, where in the middle of the conversation, I just have to walk away. Because <laughs> yeah. I... I'm qualified to speak about this, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a journey you have to take on your exactly. own. Exactly. You're like, I, I do managed, not want to be involved. I managed to find these answers without the help of a 45-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for you this week, man. It's oh, going to be a blast. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, too. I mean, it is a, it's a dream come true. I mean, I, I have to... Um, I want to say, I just, I actually do want to say hi to my mom because oh, great. my mom is uh, going through some stuff right now and she's sick. And I, I just, uh, it was something that my mom and I would talk about when I oh, was a that's kid. So wonderful. About like one day hosting Saturday Night Live. So. Oh man, well, uh, I hope she uh, gets better soon. And I can't wait for Saturday. Thanks so much for being here. David Harbour, everybody.